Welcome back to this house, clown's house. Now what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna put a light over here. And this is what I bought to put in there. I bought this from Home Depot. Lowe's has this too. And I bought 25 foot of wire, Romex. Now each house has, depending where you live, you have a different Lowe's for that. And um, it also depends how much wattage and amperage you, you're uh, putting this through, it's going to support. So make sure you know how much uh, wattage and amperage you're going to go through the, these wires, or else you're going to have a fire. So be careful with that. And I'm going to show you how I'm going to put this in there. What I did here was I want a light right here. So I'm going to put that casing in here and and fix to the sheetrock. I had a hi-hat here, so I just pulled it out and I'm going to use the junction box in there to connect the wires and sneak them up there. So I just made a little hole here to go through and up through the sheetrock in here. I'm going to staple the, the Nomex in here, then put some uh, spackle here. So, I'll show you how it looks like when I start assembling it. So now we just measured the middle, we'll put a line, then we put the canister underneath and made a hole, and now we're just cutting it with the, with the knife, the Shirok knife. Okay, we also got staples. So we're gonna whack that in there. So we're gonna, gonna continue putting this wire through here. Alright, now what I'm gonna do is, since I have Romex, I'm gonna open it up over here. There's tabs, four tabs. So, you just open it like that, and that comes right off, and this is where you slide the Romex in. If you have the metal wire, you just pop one of these tabs in, and you can run the wire through there. So, next thing is, you grab, uh, grab the wire here. And you just cut it down the middle a little bit so you could spread this open. And you have the ground wire, the black hot and the white wire. So you just strip these with a stripper. And you see here, you have the black and the white. Now what you could do is, you could, uh, when you connect them in series, you just plug them in here, white, white, and black, black, and the green is ground. You put the, and you put the ground in here in the green. And if you want to connect another one, you take, you, you have one of these wires, you connect one here to the white, white, black, black in the ground, and you run it to the other one, to the other light. And you have, as you can see here, you have, you could put uh, three extra ones in here. So that's how you run them all in one circuit. So once you get the white, you just pop it in here and it clicks and you give it a good tug, it's not going anywhere, so that's in. Now you do the same thing here with this black one. It's really easy to do. You push it in and you hear a click and you pull it and it's good. And then the green one. Same with the green. You pop it in here and you hear a click and you tug it and it's good. Now all of this can hide in this junction box and you can push it in through here. 
And now you just put this all this stuff in here. And what I like to do is put some black tape around here. Black tape. And it's going to be somewhere around here. So I just put some black tape around here to protect it. Just for extra safety measure. here and right there see how it sits in there and that tab's gonna hold it in there so now you just go ahead and close it and you're done now you're gonna snake, snake this in here like this and you see these things here these hold on to the sheetrock. So first you just push these in. And then while it's here, you push these out. All right, now this, what happens in here is you want to install it like this, and when you put it in, this attaches to the sheetrock over here. So. Once you push it in, now if you come underneath here, over here, all you gotta do is push this in. And that's good there. So I'm gonna go around and just push all these in and it'll it'll catch on the sheet rock. All right, now I'm just gonna connect this to this hi-hat. I'm gonna cut this wire like I did up there and connect the white to the white, black, black, just like, did, just like I did before. And there's a junction box for this right over here. So I just gotta pop it open, take that off. And over here, this was already connected, just like I did upstairs. I'm gonna strip it, the white goes here, the green goes here. And that's the ground, I believe. Sorry, the black, the white, and the ground is the green. So that's how you connect it in series. I'm going to pop this back up and done. I'm also going to put this mesh tape in there and put some more compound on it so it would hold that in there. So you can get this from Home Depot too. Now you plaster it. And then once it dries, you sand it, you plaster it again, sand it, then primer it and paint it to get rid of this. We also had to put a little piece of sheet rock in the middle. So that's what we're doing now. All right, now we're done with the ceiling, sanded it down about two, three times, painted it. And now over here, we're gonna put the trim and this, this the clips go in here in these holes, these spring type of uh, hold downs. So you grab it from here and you, and you put it in there. So let me do that now. Just grab it like this and you pull it up in place. one and now the other one and that's two Let me clean that now you take a light bulb it's 
tighten it down. It's going to move around a little bit. I'm going to fix that from inside. You just push this up. And that should have fixed it. Better. So I'm going to go ahead and do that again to fix that. That's good, and that's what it looks when you light it up. So thanks for watching, subscribe to my channel, take care.